oh my god hi guys welcome back to my channel if you guys just knew the struggle today to even do this video right now i literally struggled the whole day i woke up early right now it's like three o'clock i woke up early i did my hair i did my full face before just so i can have only the eyes the struggle but anyways hi if you guys are here you guys are here for the new Amrezi and ABH palette. I know, I know there's a lot of things being said about this palette. But I finally have it, you guys, in my hands. Ah, uh, I got the notification I was getting this palette today. And I was like, I need to do the video today. I need to post it as soon as I can. So we're going to go ahead and open it. I haven't opened it yet. I just took it out of the box. But I want to show you guys how it looks inside. The box is so glittery and it has like a texture to it. So it looks like this. Wow, that's so freaking pretty. The palette looks like this right here. Um, It's just pink. And it also comes with a mirror, which I am really, really happy about. It is so freaking pretty. It's like the perfect square and it's so tiny. I actually like it. I also have the other one with um, the collab that they did with Alyssa Edwards. But I really like this one because it's really, really tiny. Look at my hand. It's just so tiny. So it's like a perfect mirror. We're going to be using that today. Um, it looks longer compared to the regular ABH palettes. It looks like it has two more colors here. And it is a 16 pan. Normally there are two. 12, I think 14 pants. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one. So first of all, I just want to say I have been reading The tweets about this on Twitter and honestly Twitter is just a dark place to be in but I have been seeing that people are Basically talking about the palette and saying how it basically is the same colors as the other palettes and everything like that but we have to think about the fact that this is a Mrezi doing this palette. Like, she's just going to do whatever she likes. It's not like she's trying to get colors from a different palette. No, she's literally going for the colors that she likes the most. This is for her followers, people that support her. So anybody that supports her will get this palette, of course. And I just do want to say that the palette is different in person than it is like on the light i'm gonna go ahead and lower the light down a little bit so you guys can see it is darker i'm gonna show you guys the soft glam and it's just the soft glam i see the colors but look at the difference of the palettes i'm um, literally the same lighting look at the difference it is so different i'm gonna go ahead and grab the modern renaissance so you guys can see i get it i get it that you guys are saying they look identical but Think about it. Maybe it looks more like this one. But look at all those shimmers. And the Modern Renaissance does not have that. So I understand people say that. And I do see what they see. But we have to really think about who's the person behind the palette, right? Of course, it is Amrezi and ABH. Um, they even put two more shadows for you guys. Um, it is stunning. And I really like the shimmers here this one i'm going to show you guys this one right here which is barb is literally beautiful i'm going to go ahead and do some swatches i'm not going to swatch the whole thing because i feel like i'm just really bad when it comes to swatches so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the ones that really catch my eye so liddy and gemini i saw in amrezi's instagram story that gemini and itty i mean liddy are press glitters and look at that that's me just swatching it once we're gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna go ahead and swatch gemini i want to show you guys how i am swatching it very lightly like literally so light and those are so pretty glitters i just love that they might not swatch the best because they're glitters but they look amazing on the eyelid and i'm pretty sure if you put a brush with a little bit of setting spray they will for sure stick but they are glitters. And then I also want to swatch bar because the Merzi did talk about this shimmer right here. I barely even touched it, guys. It's like really, really beautiful. I'm going to swap, swatch it right there. And look how stunning that one is. Literally, when I saw her swatch it, I was really, really impressed when I saw it. I was like, wow, that is a really nice shimmer. So right now what I'm going to do is just kind of play with the palette um 
it's just I really really want to play with it I waited the whole day to play with it so we're gonna go ahead and do that I am gonna be using my ABH primer today so we're gonna be using this one and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that onto the lid oh my god I do want to talk about what I think about the palette I understand and I'm pretty sure I've already kind of mentioned this I understand it looks like the other palettes but I do see like a resi in it if you see her instagram she's all about the bronze she's all about pink like it's literally her in one palette and i really really do like that because i feel like she's not doing something that is like out of her comfort zone it's like she lives and breathes these colors so i see that and if it's not for you then it's not for you you don't have to get it no one's forcing you to get it, so you don't have to get it. Anybody that supports Amrezi is, of course, going to be getting at this palette and is a fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, the palette, obviously, is bigger, and the packaging is way nicer, to be honest. Like, I really like this format of it. It's, like, so big, and it's actually nice to get. So we're going to go ahead and just start. Since right now she's all about the pink... I'm gonna go ahead and just do like a really nice pink eye. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the shade Shemza, which we know is like, I th we would think it's called Semza, but it's Shemza and it's her mom's name. So we're gonna go ahead and touch that and add this to the crease and blend that out. This is so pretty so far, it is stunning. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it down here as well. So far, I do want to say that the pigment of Shemza is really, really, really beautiful. Um, it is stunning. So right now, I'm just blending this on my crease and just giving us this nice pink moment. Honestly, this pink is a little bit more to like the purple. It's like pink purple. And I really, really like it. It's so nice. We're going to go ahead and just blend that out. Okay, next I am going to go in with Wasted. I'm just using that shade to blend the edges off. It doesn't look too harsh. I really like the color. And I do want to say just ahead of time that the color Wasted or the shade Wasted does have a bit fallout. But I feel like that's pretty normal for ABH palettes. So if that concerns you, just letting you know. Because I feel like it's important to know that there is a tad bit of fallout in this palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap a bit more of Shemza. Shen, 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 wow, I cannot say that. And I am so sorry, but it's such a pretty name. If that's her mom's name, that is so pretty. Let me know in the comments below, was it, what are your thoughts on this palette? I want to know. I know a lot of people are going to be saying that it's like literally the same. But honestly, this shade is not the same as these right here from the ABH. This one seems more rich to me. Because I didn't get this kind of color payoff when I used Modern Renaissance with this Shenzma color. So I'm going to go ahead and get another brush and we're going to be using another brush to blend out the shade OG this one right here and I'm going to be using that to kind of blend a little bit of this edge right here to add a little bit more of a different color dimension as you can see I am slowly just blending the edges off a bit just to have a nice color See, like, with Modern Renaissance, you can get this kind of look, but not really at the same time. I do feel like the colors, like I said, they are a bit more rich for my taste, which is really, really good. I really like that because I don't want it to be, like, a simple nude palette because I feel like people think that's what this palette is. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and get the shade Barb. And I'm going to literally apply this all over the lid. And I am not going to wet anything. Just applying it straight. And as you can see, look at how beautiful and shiny that is. That is amazing. Look how pretty that is. That's, you guys, it's like a shift. It's like pink on the pan, but it doesn't look pink here. 
and it's like a nice beautiful shift it's so stunning do you guys see that that is so freaking pretty oh my god okay now i'm gonna go ahead and get cupcake wait no you know what i'm not gonna mm, i'm just gonna go ahead and get resi right here which is this pink one right here i'm gonna grab a brush like a flat brush and i'm gonna be applying that to the outer crease oh i dug in too much i'm gonna be applying this to the outer corner of the eye and creating that nice radiant of pink that i am looking for this is literally giving me barbie vibes like this is so freaking pretty and i'm not really a pink person as you can tell in my room i have like literally no pink in here but i really really like the way this is looking i'm going to be applying this right here in the bottom i do want to say there are fallout going on i have some here but easy fix you can just go ahead and get a little bit of setting spray and then spraying it or kind of fanning it out of your face like this nothing happened here nothing happened here so look how pretty that is i hope this look is going to be easy for you guys to recreate because i really really like so far the way it's looking now i'm gonna go ahead and dig in a bit more to the darker colors which is this yugo here this one i'm gonna go ahead and use that one and i'm gonna be applying this to the outer corners to kind of deepen a bit more i'm just gonna be tapping it in here and blending it with darker outer crease so all you want to do is get like a little pencil brush and basically apply it to the outer bottom corner and then to the top one and then just kind of connecting those together and just kind of winging it out a bit and i'm getting this color because this color is not a it's like a brown but it looks a tad bit like of a purple brown so i'm gonna be using that to blend it a little bit so basically how that is done i'm gonna go in again with barbie and i'm gonna be using this i'm gonna be putting it on my brow bone to give it that glow that i am looking for and then i am also going to be applying this to the inner corner because how can i not add this to the inner corner it is so freaking pretty i think out of all the shades this one is my favorite i feel like i wanted to play with that blue but i didn't because I just really like the way I wanted to do like a pink eye look, especially for her palette because she was going for pink vibes. Guys, so I finished my other eye off camera because I was basically done with this eye and I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just go ahead and do the other one. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some Kush Mascara on my lashes and then I'm going to be applying the Batty B lashes in the style Batty. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So I honestly, my thoughts on this palette is that I really do like it so far. I didn't have any problems with the shimmers or anything. I feel like they're very amazing and stunning. Um, I don't know why people are hating on it so much. Honestly, it's one of those palettes where you're going to have to see it in person to know. Because I really do like it. The, maybe the negative thing I could say is like, yes, the shadows look like the other palettes. But other than that, I feel like I really do like the color story and how she put everything together. The names kind of go with it. So I see it and it looks very, very nice. So I feel like Amrezi did such an amazing job naming the palette and then picking the colors. Because honestly, the color Barb, it is insane. I love it so much. I think it's one of my favorite colors there in the palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the Batty B Lashes. Um, I also was reading on Twitter and how everybody was saying how like we like to kiss ass to Anastasia Beverly Hills and like how we don't treat other brands the same. Honestly, I just like to support any creator that creates a palette because honestly, I'm pretty sure it's anybody's dream to create a palette with Anastasia or any other brand because of how big they are. To be honest, I feel like anybody that says that they wouldn't is lying in my opinion um so i really appreciated the fact that they did a palette with emergency because they had done the highlighter 
and the highlighter is honestly one of my favorites i use it all the time and i'm going to be using it today but it is such a good highlighter and i really really hope that they do bring it back because it is so freaking good like it's unbelievably good okay now that the eye basically is done i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my urban decay all nighter setting spray mm. <sighs> this feels so nice so let me know in the comments below guys so what are your thoughts about the palette honestly put them down below and if you are gonna get it let me know why you're gonna get it and if you don't want to get it also, let me know in the comments below because I feel like it's important to know the reasons why we are getting the specific palette that everyone's hating on because I just don't get it. Like, I feel like if I'm not going to get a palette, I wouldn't actually go out there and be like, oh, I'm not going to get it because it's so boring and blah, blah, you know? I don't think I'm that kind of person. I've never been. So I just want to know your guys' thoughts on the palette. Now I'm going to go in with the uh, end points from RIP Lip Liner from House Laboratories. And I'm going to give myself a nude lip because I just want to have like a nude lip with gloss. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now I'm going to go in with an Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a lip gloss and it is called Girly. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this and then just add a little bit of sparkle to the lips. And I'm just tapping it in there. And just like that, just to add a little bit of shimmer to the lip. And lastly, I am going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi highlighter. Like, of course, I have to use it today. And we're gonna go ahead and just highlight the cheeks. How stunning the highlighter is. It is so freaking pretty. I am honestly obsessed with the eye look. I love the fact that it's very, it's giving me literally Barbie vibes. And I like that a lot. Oh my god, my eyelash with my hair. Ah. Hey guys, so this is the final look using the Amrezi palette. This honestly, you guys, it is so freaking good. I didn't get to use all the colors. But I just know the ABH palettes are always good. Maybe the subculture was something. But I can just tell from the palette that this is amazing. I didn't use Liddy. And I kind of want to use it. So I don't know. Should I add a little bit of it? Maybe I should. So I'm going to go ahead and just get a little bit of Liddy. And I'm going to add it right on top and between Barb and Resi. And I'm just going to add it right here so we can see how it looks. Look at that glitter. It is so pretty. Oh my god. We're going to add it here. I shouldn't have done this with my lashes on, but oh well. I really want to try it out and just kind of adding it in between those. And it is so freaking pretty. Honestly, they did that. She did that. I am very proud of Amrezi. And if she ever watches this, I am really, really proud of her because she honestly went with her gut and did what she wanted to do and doesn't care what people say because it is so stunning it is so her the names are everything i love them she has wasted barb resi anastasia new yorker yorker wow you can tell i'm not from new york but she says that you need to say like they say it but i can't and then she also has liddy cupcake og Shemza, Dragon, Leo, 1988, BK, Gemini, Gorgina, and Yugo. So they're all so, so beautiful, guys. So I'm going to be putting the details here of when it launches and how much it's worth. Um, I honestly feel like it is worth it. I recommend this palette. Um, I feel like this palette would even come out in the deeper skin tones. I don't know how it would come out in those deep, deep skin tones. Because I don't know how these will show up. These two. I know this one might. And these will for sure. And any of these glitters will for sure come up. Because they're very, very pigmented. And even wasted. Maybe wasted could come out a little bit more ashy. But I don't know. So um, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, what are your thoughts? I also just want to say that if you're not into or you're not a fan of Amrezi or Anastasia, you don't need this palette. If you have other palettes, you 
you have those palettes but i also want to say that i did see another tweet like i said i was on twitter i did see another tweet that there's a lot of customers that don't say that all these palettes look the same i really really do feel that they don't i'm just going to show you guys really quick really quick what i'm talking about i do have the palettes here this is the Amrezi one and this is a modern renaissance slightly almost the same i also have the soft glam palette right here and i feel like this one for sure looks a little bit different i feel like this one looks more washed out and more brownie than this one i also want to show you guys other palettes because i actually have all of them here i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the carly bible one show you guys right there it looks the same but not really seriously it's like different not the same and i also want to show you guys i don't want to show you guys the jackie aina one because i feel like hers is completely different it's like super beautiful i really really love that palette but i also have let's see the prism right here i also have prism as you can tell honestly I think people are just making too much of it. I see what they mean, but they're like honestly slightly different. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And I also just wanted to point that out because I feel like it's important. Because I feel like so far the palette has been getting hate because it looks like the other palettes. But I really now seeing it in person, it kind of doesn't to me in my opinion. I actually really, really do love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me if you guys join my little family. I am so excited because I love doing Anastasia Beverly Hills like reviews or like tutorials. I feel like they're so much fun. And if you guys are not following me on my Instagram and Twitter, go ahead and follow me there. I'm always posting there, always. And right now, I am entering the Benefit Brow Search 2020. So if you guys check out my brows that I am posting, I have to like create four types of brows i'm posting them there on my instagram thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart if you guys saw it to the end you guys are the best always as always and if you guys are new happy happy 2020 happy new year for you guys thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time